What's up, YouTube? Last time I played this, when I ended, I thought I had exited out, but I left it playing for like a minute or two, unpaused, just thinking that it wasn't going. Luckily, it beat like one wave, I noticed what was happening, and then I quit out. So, not too much time passed. I have a flying guy there, trying to remember what all I was doing. I think I was going to try ramping up silicone and all my other stuff. Let's see, what was I doing here? That's the Wraith factory, okay. I could probably be shipping the excess of that. Kind of a small thing, but worth doing. Which one of these is overflow? Overflow gate. So just, if we're overfilling, let's send it. And really, I should do that with like everything. Maybe I don't want that exactly on top of it, but pretty close. I have to get power down here. I was hoping maybe I could span this. Nope. Okay, there's no reason to use the big ones. Eventually, copper and lead should fill up. Copper should fill up pretty quick. But that's not as important to be launching. A little bit. Okay, I wanted to not get distracted, which I've already gotten distracted just trying to get caught back up. What's going on here? Could use more coal. Okay, so that's silicone. I've already got a bunch of that. I've got a bunch of plate metal. What are you guys doing? This is just power. This excess coal could be getting used somewhere. Yeah, I don't have much of this stuff. What are these? Graphite. I don't have much graphite yet. The overflow could be going to graphite. So let's do that. Ooh, and graphite can be made using these multi presses. don't know that I can actually supply all three of these, but that's okay. This is how we learn. Wait, do these actually need liquid? Or do they just want liquid? Let's go read. Question mark. An upgraded version of the graphite press employs water and power. Okay think that is 100% worth doing, especially since I can just extract water from the ground. The only thing is, I have to actually get the water going into these. So let's do that. To get water in, I think I use bridge conduits a bit.
That might not have even been necessary. That probably wasn't. Hold on. Drag down, drag back up. And now... Can I fit a launch pad? Of course not. <laughs> Let's put it right there. And how's my power doing? Not great. I have a bunch of silicone. I'm planning on being here for a good amount of waves, so it's worth the investment, even though the other power sources are better. I see no real negatives to spending on this. Except that silicone that I could be sending off-planet. Okay, now how's my power? Good, excessive. Or I have excess power. Cool, copper has filled. Let's get another launch pad, just for copper. Let's put it right there. And give it overflow gates. I feel like these overflow gates work the opposite of how I'm thinking. Maybe I don't need three of these. Let's see what one does. I'll have to see once this backs up if that goes into there like I'm expecting. Okay, so it is going into here. Underflow means horizontal. Overflow means vertical, I think. I don't know. I could make another launch pad. I really don't understand, to be honest. Like, why is it prioritizing this over this? Not that it matters too much. I have plenty in there. I would just like to understand it. Maybe overflow is what I wanted. I don't know. If anything, I would really like, I can't just drag that down, these to be going faster. And then if there's excess, I'll put that excess into another one of those whatevers. Yeah, there's definitely excess. Another launch pad. We'll do two. Think that'll do what I'm expecting? Maybe. If it was, I would expect those two to have already been sufficient to do stuff, to do what I wanted. I don't think those are actually working. What happens if I just put in normal router? If 
then like all of it gets launched. Which is fine, because I have tons of sheet metal already. Okay. We're up to wave 30. Let's go check on the defenses. That looks pretty good. This looks decent. Except that they destroyed that one wall. No, they destroyed more than one wall. And he should be able to repair those walls. Also, I would like more pulses. Beyond that, I would like more power. And some large batteries. Or those are not batteries. Large batteries. Okay, so now my power system can have 450,000. And I should go find a water source and actually get steam going. Differential generator would be cool too, I'm guessing. Or thermal generator. I just don't know how those work. Steam, I think, is fairly simple. It's just liquid and coal, I believe. Let's use laser drills in this case. Because while they use power, I'm going to be generating power too. And let's get, I think mechanical pumps will be fine. Let's use the faster ones, I guess. Is there any downside to using them? I don't think so. Let's actually get rid of that. It just makes me happier. Actually, I think distributors move stuff quicker. Could be wrong about that. Oh, these need power. Yes. They don't seem to be going that fast. I should be applying, applying, er, ugh, supplying water to them. It would also be good if I had more walls here. So at least put some thinner walls. Yeah, let's get water supplied to these. Is there a good way to get water to this one? I think so. Yeah, that... Here. Is that a good way to get water? Not really. It would be better... to use... Where is it? Bridge conveyor from right here to right there. And then get the water extractor.
these guys are not getting much water from that. Could very easily hook this up to it though. I would think that would also supply water to these others, but maybe not. Here, instead of that, What is going on up here? Okay, maybe that was just my air guys shooting. I need a lot more of these air guys. I like those. I would like to find out what's going on here though. Okay, that seemed to have hooked everything up. I think this one's only supplying this one really right now, but that's fine if it is. We will get... a couple more mechanical pumps. That should be more than sufficient. Tons of power. Oh yeah, tons of excess power. So now if I want to, I could ship back excess of whatever materials I like, which I need to, well, before starting to get up the industry, I should get more of these fighters. Do I get bombers too? I could, what's going on here? don't think this was set up how I want it all the way. But I would rather those just supply pure titanium here. And I mine a different one to ship off planet. Oh yeah, I remember what else I wanted to. Force projector would be cool to have, especially now that I have excess power. My only worry is that if I have it inside of here, it might get blown up. So I'm actually going to take out these three. should look at how much power do these use however much it is okay 180 per second which I'm guessing maybe it goes up higher when it's being attacked it could use liquid too How's that? I'm guessing it's worth doing the liquid thing. I should actually read what difference it makes, but let me get all of my walls covered by these first. I'm gonna wait till those guys walk by. Okay, now, give me another force projector. And another water extractor. Beautiful.
So now the only real worry is that I run out of power. But I think I have a stupid amount of power from those steam generators. Yeah. This is a lot of titanium. I don't think it's worth using the laser drills on it. This will already be more than I can ship off planet, I'm guessing. Just using regular drills. Wait, maybe not there. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm trying to min max when I don't need to be doing that at all because this is a good amount of titanium available. Let's get the faster belts. Why did I just see shots down here? This might be overkill for the amount of these. That's okay. For the amount of launch pads. There we go. Words. And I don't know that I can actually supply three of these, but let's see what happens. Maybe I can. Okay, I'm going to build a distributor right here. And Cool. Even that line is moving. Seems like these are shipping off pretty quick. Where were those fighters being made? How are these doing? These could use more coal. I could put powered drills to get more coal. Alternately, I could replace these with the factory ones the whatever multi presses but instead of worrying about that I think what is a black blast mixer use I start looking at some of these new technologies I should just read about it crushes and mixes clusters of spores with pyrite to produce blast compound I don't know what blast compound does yet pyrite melter separator Separates slags, slag into its mineral components, outputs the cooled results. So this can give copper, lead, graphite, titanium. I don't need any of those. But that could be useful in a map that doesn't have titanium. Spore press. Input spore pod, output oil. What do I use oil for? Pulverizer. Input scrap, output sand. Coal centrifuge. Ooh, input oil, output coal. That's interesting. But I have enough coal right now. Hmm. 
Incinerator just gets rid of stuff, I think. Melter, scrap to slag. I still don't know what I do with slag yet. I already looked at this. Oh, okay, this is slag into those. Wait, this is what I want. Plastonium, plastanium compressor. Titanium plus oil gives me plastanium. That's what I want. Okay. So I need titanium. I need oil. I can at least get the titanium right here. Or right here. Okay. What do I need to get oil? I feel like I just answered this. The spore press gives six oil. Beautiful. It needs spore pods. Spore pods are maybe from the cultivator? I'm not sure. I should have looked at that first. Yes, output spore pads. Input is water. Given that, there is water right here. I'm gonna say, let's build these things. Not right there. Right there. And that's probably more of these than I need. All right, I just noticed the time, 27 minutes in. So I'm gonna continue this next time. I'm going to get spores into whatever the spore press into oil into plastic. All right, thanks for watching.